COPA is investigating this morning after a 24-year-old man is killed in a police-involved shooting. Thanks for being with us. I'm Erin Kennedy. And I'm Marissa Bailey. At this hour, that man's loved ones are demanding answers. CBS 2's V. Wynn joins us live from the Chicago Police Headquarters with more. Hi, V. Marissa and Aaron family and friends identified this man shot and killed by police as 24 year old Maurice Granton Jr. And they're disputing claims by police about what happened, saying the gun recovered at the scene did not belong to Granton. What began as a drug investigation Wednesday night came to an end when police shot and killed 24 year old Maurice Granton Jr. He was a father of two young girls, a seven month old and a one year old. No. That's not his personality, he wouldn't even chance his life doing that, knowing he had two very young kids to come home to. The incident happened near 47th and Prairie around 8.15 p.m. Police say officers approached the suspect during their investigation, but he took off running and led them on a chase. The suspect fled on foot. The officers pursued. Uh, there was an armed confrontation during which an officer discharged his weapon striking the suspect. Granton was taken to the hospital where he later died. The incident led to some tense moments when family and friends arrived at the scene and came face to face with police. Police shared this picture on social media and said they recovered the suspect's gun at the scene. One thing, he didn't have no gun on him. His family stopped by police headquarters early this morning and they believe there's more to what happened. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability is now investigating all aspects of this case, including the use of force. He was shot in the back. Yeah. We I don't know think he was shot in the back. back. Yeah, but it would have been blood. We would have seen, seen him some shot in his back. Okay. So we have witnesses at the candlelight. We're going to okay. try to get some of the witnesses. Yeah. Now, a spokesperson for COPA tells me investigators were at the scene last night talking to any potential witnesses. They are collecting surveillance video in the area and they do have body cam footage. Now, an officer was also taken to the hospital for a possible ankle injury. Now, as for the officers involved, they have been placed on administrative duties for 30 days. Reporting live from police headquarters, V1 CBS 2 News. Marissa and Aaron, back to you. All right, V, thank you.